Choose the Where Used list icon from the Query Designer toolbar to view a list of places where a query definition is being used. Note, the Where Used list will not show references of the Query in Analysis workbooks. The Where Used list also shows references in other queries for other reusable elements. In this demonstration, you will see how to use the Where Used list. First, you will see how to log into BEX Query Designer. Click Start. Click All Programs. Click Business Explorer. Click Query Designer. The password field is filled out. Click OK. Click OK. In the following steps, you will see how to search the query p underscore sales underscore analysis underscore zero zero one and choose the where used list icon from the query designer toolbar. Clicking the open menu item executes it. The search term field is filled out. Click find. The entry sales analysis 001 is selected by double clicking on it. Clicking the where used list menu item executes it. Click use in other queries or reusable components. Click query sales analysis 001 is used in. Click close. The figure shows the steps for deleting query objects. In this demonstration, you will see how to delete a query object. Click Start. Click SAP Logon for Windows. Clicking the entry RWB space selects it. Click Logon. The user field is filled out. The password field is filled out. Click Enter. In the following steps, you will see how to access RSZ DELETE -E, transaction code and delete the query created by you that you do not require anymore. RSZ DELETE -E, is now entered in the transaction box. Click Enter. The last changed by field is filled out. Click Execute. Delete checkbox is selected. Click Delete. Click Yes.
click Continue. Clicking Exit quits the transaction. You can also press Shift plus F3. In the SAP menu, under Business Explorer, there is a copy function that enables you to copy queries and query objects between different info providers. To copy queries or query objects between info providers, the target info provider must contain the info objects that are contained in the source info provider. In this demonstration, you will see how to copy a query between info providers. First, you will see how to log into SAP RWB system. Click Start. Click SAP Logon for Windows. Clicking the entry RWB space selects it. Click Logon. The user field is filled out. The password field is filled out. Click Enter. In the following steps, you will see how to copy queries between info providers using transaction RSZC. RSZC is now entered in the transaction box. Click Enter. The source info cube field is filled out. The target info cube field is filled out. Click Execute. Click Continue. Click Minimize. In the following steps, you will see how to verify the copied query definition in BEX Query Designer. First, you will see how to log into BEX Query Designer. Click Start. Click All Programs. Click Business Explorer. Click Query Designer. The password field is filled out. Click OK. Click OK. Clicking the Open Menu item executes it. The search term field is filled out. Click Find. The entry CL underscore check underscore load underscore T underscore SDKOPIE is selected by double clicking on it. Note down the modified technical name. Click Close. In the translation area of the Data Warehousing Workbench, you can translate short and long texts for SAP BW objects, including query objects. When a query is selected for translation, the work list automatically includes the query objects for translation. The work list also includes any connected objects, such as workbooks. More information about query object translation is available in the SAP BW documentation at the reference URL displayed on the screen. Use authorizations in data warehousing to map the structure of your company. 
give users the relevant permissions to access data and to analyze data. Standard authorizations are required by all users who model or load data in the data warehousing workbench, work in the planning workbench or analysis process designer, work with BEX broadcaster and create queries in BEX query designer. Each authorization refers to an authorization object and defines one or more values for each field in the authorization object. Individual authorizations are combined into roles by system administration and are based on the SAP standard authorization concept. You can copy the roles delivered by SAP and adjust them as necessary. The system administrator creates the authorizations and enters them as profiles in users' master records. Users who work with queries and query components need authorizations in the authorization objects s underscore rs underscore comp and s underscore rs underscore comp1. In addition to the fields in the authorization object s underscore rs underscore comp, the authorization object s underscore rs underscore comp1 contains the field owner of the reporting component. Use the transaction PFCG for role maintenance. Assign the authorization objects to a role's authorization profile and assign the role to users. Authorization-relevant characteristics are characteristics with protected data. Standard authorizations are not sufficient for users who want to display data from authorization-relevant characteristics. To access protected data, users require analysis authorization. Analysis authorizations are based on BW reporting and analysis features using transaction RSECADMIN. You can create analysis authorizations for a group of characteristics and restrict the values for the characteristics. Assign the authorization to one or more profiles or roles using the authorization object S underscore RS underscore AUTH. Since the authorizations are TLOGO objects, that is, transportable object types, they may be transported to other systems. When a query is executed, all authorization relevant characteristics that are contained by the info provider are checked. A query selects a data set from the database. If the data contains authorization relevant characteristics, ensure that the user who is executing the query has authorization for the complete selection. Otherwise, an error message will indicate that the user does not have the required authorization. A characteristic value variable or a hierarchy node variable with the authorization processing type is automatically filled with the values provided by the authorization of the executing user.